Let's listen to Bill Ackland as he reads from his book, Talking with God. Today's prayer is entitled, In Gratitude for the Seasons. I have to sh- share two texts with you. Firstly, from Genesis 8.22. The time of sowing, the time of reaping, the cold and the hot seasons of the year, winter and summer, the day and the night shall continue in their cycles while ever the earth remains. And from Psalm 74, 17, you have determined where the earth shall go and made the seasons called summer and winter. And the introductory thought, it is not surprising that we as humans make much of the different seasons of the year and the differences between the seasons. In temperate zones especially, the year is divided into four distinct periods, all with their advantages and some disadvantages for some people. Let us enjoy this aspect of the wonderful world we live in. And we shall pray now. Dear Creator God, I offer you my grateful thanks that where we live, we enjoy the recurring cycle of the seasons. It was not always so, of course, and there certainly would have been no complaints in that perfect world before the deluge, when seasons were unknown. After the flood, along with the rainbow of promise, your kindness provided four seasons. These not only furnish many benefits for mankind, with our own particular personal preferences, but seasons so different quarters provide just the right environment for crops to be sown, to grow and be harvested and be placed on our tables for our daily nourishment. So when does the seasonal cycle begin? Your word says seed time, which sounds very much like spring to me. A season of promises opens up before our eyes as new life cries out for the sunshine, as the growing time commences, as puppies, lambs and kittens, and human babies too, engage in a seemingly frantic and unpredictable exercise routine in every waking moment. Flowers carpet the earth, and vines prepare us for bunches of sweetness. But as the days lengthen and the temperature rises, we realise another warm gift is ours, the gift of summer. Summer, reminding us of God's love, warm and comforting, wrapping us in a blanket of safety, maturing us as nature matures and pointing us to the harvest in this season and the next. Ninety days of sunshine and short nights, a special season for many now merges into my favourite, Lord, for the balmy, mild and vivid days of autumn and the lengthening shadows in the late afternoon are a perfect clasp to join summer's warmth to the cold and sombre days of winter. Thank you too, Lord, for the winter. While some may want a perpetual summer day the whole year through, I like the invigorating, the cool and settling days of winter, when nature, apparently hibernating and bleak, is really preparing the land, the trees and all nature for the riot that is coming in a few weeks' time when the cycle begins again, and we are blessed as each year's four seasons provide a favourite time for every one of us. Thank you so much, Lord, for all the seasons of the year. Amen. To obtain your copy of Talking With God, written by Bill Ackland, give us a call in Australia on 024973 3456 or send an email to radio at 3abnaustralia.org.au